Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you today. We have the Best Tech Grampus. This knife was provided to me by the manufacturer. I just want to get that out of the way. It is a loner. Very cool knife with a very odd name, but I kind of like it. It's very unique. You're not going to forget it. The Grampus. It's kind of it's kind of cool. It's odd, but it's cool. I would like to think that's much like myself, but anywho, yeah, this knife is meant to be kind of a more of a working knife. Best Tech has gone a lot to the 12C 27N steel and a lot of their more budget models, and this definitely fits into one of their more budget model categories. It is a $52 knife, but this one does not. This one still has the D2 steel that they used to use, which I like a lot, especially on a working knife like this. Uh, it's a pretty cool design, very robust handle, three and a half inch blade, very utilitarian EDC sort of blade shape. Gotta love that. Uh, it's got a nice little pommel on the back, it just a very grippy G10, just a lot of little details that you can tell. Like this was meant to do some stuff, and it definitely is. This is a liner lock, technically, but look at those liners. They're pretty thick. I mean, this is almost practically a frame lock with a little bit of G10 slapped over the outside of it. Pretty cool design. Let's get into some stats before we get too much farther. We have an overall length of 8.1 inches, blade length, as I said, of 3.5 inches. You have a blade thickness of 0 0.13 inches, which is uh, pretty thin for a hard-working knife like this, but well done. It's not uh, super thin, but a pretty thin, slicey blade for this kind of uh, knife. And uh, you have a handle thickness of 0 0.6 inches, as I said, pretty robust handle, and a weight of just a skosh under five ounces i mean barely like 4.97 is what i got on my scale so uh yeah it's a not a terribly light knife but it's not ridiculously heavy either uh let's do some size comparisons here we'll keep these quick but uh we'll do for consistency we will do the uh spider co paramilitary 2 almost exactly the same size as a pm2 a little more cutting edge on it and a knife that I think this will be compared to a lot. You have your Ontario Wrap Model 1 in D2. A little bit smaller than that. And lastly, we will do the Spyderco Delica 4. There we go. Yeah, quite a bit larger than that, as you can see. Now the knife itself, let's get into uh, how I feel about this. I, I like the way it looks. I think it's a pretty cool looking knife. I really like the look of the blade shape. It's nothing too stylized, but you can. it just looks purposeful. I do like that. All the little dents and dimples and machining in the G10 looks really good and is very well done. Uh, everything is nicely finished. Everything's really good and flush. It feels like a really quality piece in your hand. It definitely does. Uh, the pocket clip is... Uh, if I have to pick one thing, that just the pocket clip is great, but it just doesn't look as nice as the rest of the knife. It's just kind of the rest of the knife is beyond the pocket clip. This is a totally acceptable pocket clip for a $52 knife, but it just isn't as nice as the rest of it, if that makes any sense at all. Um, it works fine, but just the way it looks, it's just it just doesn't feel quite as nice as everything else. Uh, the screws are really good on it. I, I Loose. I didn't take this completely apart, but I loosened and put some screws back in just to make sure you know there's not a lot of play or anything. The screws are really well done. Lockup is excellent out of the box. Blade centering is really good. It might favor a hair to the left, but I haven't even tried to do anything with it. I'm sure that could be dialed out. Running on nice bearings. The looks and the quality of this are just really good. For 52 bucks. it's really, really good. Uh, the blade... I really like it. You've got a flat grind, very high flat grind. It's it's pretty thin behind the edge. As I said, D2 steel. It cuts really, really well. It's a very good slicer. It's not like, you know, world-class, top-of-the-line, all-time slicer, but it's it's pretty damn good. And it's got, also got, keeps a pretty robust tip, which is very important for a knife like this. That's something that I think a lot of companies forget. You've got these knives that are built like hardcore working knives and they have these really slender, tiny little tips that you gotta worry about snapping off. This, uh, this you don't. It's got this nice swedge. Really like the tip on it. Really like the blade shape on this. It's just a lot of flat, just enough belly. Well done on the blade shape on this. This, this is the kind of blade shape that I really like. I really do. Just your simple drop point, nothing fancy, and it works really good. 
especially for the kind of stuff that I think you'd be doing with this knife because for 52 bucks and D2 steel it's going to be a user and that's a user blade shape for sure. Uh, the handle shape also applicable here to be a user. Uh, this G10 looks like it might be uncomfortable. It isn't. It's, it's actually pretty good. Um, no real hot spots. I mean, you definitely can feel the texturing here, absolutely, but you're supposed to be able to. If you have super sensitive hands, maybe that would bother you if you're really bearing down on it, but it doesn't bother me. Uh, the jimping up here on the blade is, it's not, I wouldn't call it ornamental like I do when I insult some blades, but it's close to it. It doesn't, it doesn't do a whole lot, uh, but you can feel it. And there's no forward finger choil or anything, but um, yeah, it's that's if I have one ergonomic flaw, it's just that like choking up on this isn't going to be that easy. There's no thumb rest or anything like that on it. Uh, but other than that, ergonomically, it works really well. It fits my hands excellently. There are some finger grooves here, so occasionally, you know, you're going to have hand shapes that don't agree with it, but they agree with my hands perfectly fine. Again, just to say again, I have large size hands with skinny fingers, so. Uh, yeah, it works well for me. That flipper tab locks you in pretty good. It's not bad. Uh, and the carry, also not bad. At point, the point six uh, handle thickness, you're going to notice in your pocket for sure. And I was honestly expecting this super textured G10 to be a problem sliding in and out of my pocket. But it really isn't. It slides right in and out perfectly fine. Uh, they, For the size of this knife, they did a good job of moving the pocket clip way over here. And the flipper tab isn't doesn't protrude a whole lot, so it's, it's actually not that bad. Slipping your hand in and out of your pocket, you can get past it to get something out of your pocket if you have to. Uh, it's I'm not going to say that it's one of those knives that disappears in your pocket. It definitely does, and it's six ounces, and it's pretty good size. But it does uh, it does work better than you'd think. Not not any sharp edges to catch on here or anything like that. With that pommel on the back, lanyard hole slash pommel, you do have a fair amount sticking out. But again, when a knife is designed to be kind of a working knife, that doesn't bother me nearly as much. Uh, the action on it, very good. They did a great job with the detent on this, and it runs on bearings. It's not totally fall shutty, but it's close to it. Not bad at all. Uh, I, I can't really complain about that. 52 bucks, that it feels great. Um, yeah, and as I said, the detent's very good. Yeah, I guess I don't have much more to say about that. And honestly, don't have much more to say about this knife. It's uh, it's just, it's a really good $52 knife. Sometimes these positive reviews are harder to do than the negative ones, you know, because it's just like, yeah, it's really good. And what else do you say about it? It is it is a very good knife. And for, 50, for $52, bucks, I would recommend it. One thing I do want to add is Best Tech does have a U.S. service rep now, so that's really nice. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about sending the thing all the way back to China anymore, which is a great thing. Uh, and this is just a really good user design. I really do like it. If I could change one thing about it, I'd probably get rid of that pommel. I don't really see the need for that. Um, but on a working knife, some people are going to like lanyards, and I can see why they tacked it on there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just extra sticking up out of my pocket that doesn't need to be. It's not sharp or anything. Neither is the uh, flipper tab, by the way. I didn't mention that. There's no jimping on the flipper tab, but it doesn't need it because it, it works well enough that it's fine without it. Sometimes guys skimp on the jimping on a flipper tab, and it's a flipper tab. You have to put a lot of effort in to get it open, so you wish they had left it on there. But this doesn't require much effort because they got the detent right. So if you get the detent right, you don't need the jimping is basically what I'm saying. And they did on this, so... Very, very pleased with this knife. I like it a lot. I may actually uh, purchase one for myself. I do like it quite a bit. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, please watch, like, subscribe, all that crap. I've been, a, I've been Brian. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Have a good one.